Hey, good morning. Good morning. It's May 18th again today, 2022. It was May 18th yesterday. There's a thing going on here with date. I'm going to ask you to bear with me. I am more than a little aggravated this morning, and I am trying very hard to contain myself. What you see on screen, I wish I could have made it my thumbnail. Even with Justin on panel to help you, more than 50 minutes in, nothing of substance was reported. Please finish your sentences and present the information. Write an outline, pull up tabs and take questions, or whatever it takes to put the information out, but don't expect a four, five, or six hour commitment for what can be delivered in 60 minutes. Now what's interesting about the live stream that this comment is referencing is that it's the first time the creator ever made a thumbnail and it was must see information could change the whole Summer Wells case and I call bullets. You see, this creator is famous for saying, do your own research. Don't trust me, don't trust anybody else, do your own research. So while I was waiting for anything, even a scrap, a tidbit of real information, I did my homework. From Times News Net, a community contributor on October 23rd, 2016, wrote up a little blurb about a Hawkins County Sheriff's Department employee who did receive a 27 year service award. And lo and behold, it was the exact same picture that Ziggy presented. Now, I had seen this picture the night before because like so many people, I looked it up. Is that the person that Ziggy has been speaking to since November? I highly doubt it. Why, you might ask, because you just confirmed that there was a Michelle who served for 27 years, blah, 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 because of this. So in this must-see episode where I posted my exasperated comment, Ziggy promised a series of text messages between her and somebody. I thought, as many people probably did, she was referring to this Michelle, but I don't even know if that's exactly who she's referring to because she never finishes her sentences and she would stop in the middle and say, oh, well, how do I say this? This will reveal another person, blah, 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 that nonsense. So this is the only text message we got to see. The rest of the text messages she read out loud with her icon on screen instead of showing them. Now, why is that important? Well, because Justin of Justice For All, who broke the Jody Sue, Brad Wishon at all connection, was up on panel. She, get, she let him come up on panel and even with him up there, she could not get her story started. Justin said, well, I, I was on the phone. Did you need me? No, okay, I'm gonna drop down into chat. And Justin left. I commend Justin for his reserve, his restraint and his discretion. He tried to clarify with Ziggy that the information that had been presented this one screenshot is stuff he had broken two nights before. I talked about it and I will commend him again, both for the hard work that he and his team did and for his restraint while on Ziggy's panel. Ziggy, what were you trying to do? Wow, I don't know about that. That's, but I think that Jody Sue knows, definitely knows more. I don't, I'm not saying that she's um, this is all my opinions, all opinion based, all alleged, you know, hearsay, you guys have to, I'm just saying, like, I'm going to keep saying that you might get annoyed by it, but it's important to not get sued. And also to just, you know, be careful that you're not, you know, I wouldn't put the, be saying this stuff right now if I really, really did not like trust this person. And if it did not make sense, you know? When she finally gets started again, around an hour and 20 minutes in, she's reading, she's not showing us any more text messages. And I want you to know that I've calmed down a lot since going out and taking the clips. I could not listen to this 
in its totality, I had to stop and do other things. The context is they're still talking about Jody Sue off and on. And I will be clipping at the end of what she says this other person, allegedly Michelle, I think, said, because what she reads out is vulgar and is not fit for open YouTube consumption. I will give you the timestamp. It's approximately 1.15 and Justin has been off the panel for about 20 minutes. Here we go. I said, so people are completely wrong talking shit about how that, that people shouldn't be speaking on the boys. She does 100% wrong. These boys are every bit victims as much as Summer. Not talking about them is like pushing them to the side as if they don't matter. People on YouTube hide behind privacy, but I promise you, they'd be telling everything if they had a close source. <clears throat> I said, what about talking about possible SA? Does that embarrass the boys? Or the um, po possible inappropriate relationship between H and their mom? Wait, a 13, 11, and 9-year-old you want to ask them about what? on everything that I hold sacred. If this woman, if she brings on someone who alleges they have information about the boy's witness testimony regarding their sister's case, I will do everything in my power to see that both of them are prosecuted. For those of you who don't know all the ins and outs of this, this is how this woman started her YouTube channel and went from a nobody to partnership status. Remember, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in two weeks. The testimony alleged of a CPS worker who was leaking information about the boys. And now she wants us to believe that she is talking to a 27-year veteran sheriff's department officer who is telling her that it's okay to talk about the boys that they feel left out that they're victims and if they just had a safe place to say how they feel are you kidding me one more thing from her much later on I'm pretty good at like connecting dots, okay? And um, that's, <laughs> yeah, I'm good at that, but I'm definitely uh, not observant. That is the most truthful thing I have ever heard come out of that arrogant woman's mouth. And now I'm going to go process this video. I was gonna hold it for tomorrow. So yes, the date is wrong again. God bless you. I'll see you real soon.